Good evening, guys. Good evening. Uh, Todd, third down was a problem for you guys tonight on defense, especially third and long. I'm sure that had to irritate you guys. It was a problem on both sides of the ball. I think we were 18% on offense. Defense, we bust two coverages, one on third and 17, one on third and 16, give up two first downs, or one first down and one touchdown. You know, the young guys got to communicate, and they got to play better. At the same time, your pass rush showed up, at least from the outside linebackers, with Ramirez getting three sacks. Watts came through with a sack for you. Can you speak about what you saw from, from your edge rushers tonight? That's the one good thing that showed up on defense. Obviously, there are a lot of missed tackles in the run game. Not pleased with that. Not pleased with third down. But we got five sacks. Uh, doesn't count in the loss, but the young guys made some progress. Val, what do you say about uh, Elijah Klein and him moving along the offensive line, playing both tackle and guard tonight? That's tough. You know, we put him in some tough spots that he hadn't played in a while, uh, late in the game especially, and that, that makes it tough on the quarterback when you're trying to move like that. But he's gritty, he's tough, he'll play anywhere, and, you know, that says a lot about his character. What happened to Wolford on that side? Uh, they ran a twist game. We didn't pick it up. What happened to John? Is he okay? Or? As far as I know, I think it was ribs. I don't know how bad. We'll see. How about Kayvon Merriweather? He had a knee injury early in the game. Yeah, i got to get more information. For Ramirez, you saw a lot of him on the practice squad last year. Can you just talk about his development and, and, and just how you've seen him grow as a pass rusher? Well, we knew he was a pass rusher. His thing was learning the defense and playing the run so he can learn every down play or so. we got to watch the film from that aspect. But he came back in shape. He came back lean. Uh, he gets off the ball, uses his hands well, and he understands to get to the quarterback. It's the other aspect of his game that he's got to bring along with that. You talk about Sean Tucker's performance tonight had another explosive run, averaged eight yards of carry, didn't get a lot of touches because you guys didn't have the ball that much. But what have you seen from him so far in this preseason and specifically tonight? He looked like he did early last year in preseason. Uh, he's healthy, he understands where he's got to go. He, he knows his cuts, he knows his fits. He's confident right now. He's playing good football. Cody Thompson made some plays today with a, with a touchdown, drawing a penalty. Um, seems like he's built a lot of chemistry specifically with Kyle Trask uh, throughout training camp. What was your assessment of his performance tonight and really throughout this whole preseason? All right, he was really one of the guys we want to see tonight. Uh, he got a lot of time. He got a lot of plays. He made a lot of plays. Got to look at the totality of it. But he showed up. The lights weren't too big for him. He knows assignment football. He understands the game, and, and he catches in traffic. Something you talked about a lot in your preseason interview was the communication and you wanted to improve. How do you improve that? It looks like there's still work to do. You know, with the young guys, there's going to be work to do. There's things that they got to talk to each other. They're making calls, but they're not making them to each other. And one guy's doing one thing, the other guy's doing another. They got to get on the same page. We got to keep working at that with them. You didn't have the ball much in the first half, but how do you think Kyle played when he was in there? I thought he played with poise. Uh, defense didn't give the offense enough opportunity to have the ball from dink and dunk plays and missed tackles. But I thought he played with a lot of poise and took advantage of the times when he had to throw. Coach Chase McLaughlin was a great kicker for you guys last year. He's missed a couple in preseason, including one tonight. Is that bothersome to you? Does that concern you? Anytime a kicker misses a field goal or an extra point is bothersome to me. Uh, he was great last year. We got to iron it out and we got to get it done. What would you say was the main issue for the offense in the second half? It seems like they couldn't really get in much of a rhythm. There were a couple of three and outs that they had. Had some penalties, uh, really protecting the quarterback. You know, we, we can't keep the quarterback upright. It's hard to move the ball. After a solid week of practice, how do you think Chris Braswell did tonight in carrying that over into the game? Wasn't really looking at him. Uh, I got to look at the tape to see more. Coach, I know you mentioned after a uh, Cincinnati what? game that you could possibly get some field the opportunity to play it or play call on the defense like these guys are right. But who was calling plays for defense tonight? Coach Rogers called it tonight. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Coach.